Hey guys, what's going on? It's Blade again from Car Audio Security, and today we're looking at £10,000 worth of Alpine status equipment. Okay, so the Alpine Stasis range, what is it? So this is Alpine's flagship, high resolution, high quality audio systems from Alpine amplifiers, processors, receivers, speakers and subs. They do pretty much everything in this range. Now, this is not their absolute best. Their absolute best is the F1 status, which you may have heard of. Extortionate prices is through the roof. So what they've done is they've made something a bit more affordable, but with similar components. Uh, so you're still getting that fantastic quality. The majority of these products are high res certified. So you know you're gonna be getting fantastic audio quality. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do a brief overview of the whole range of Alpine status. There is quite a few products. I'm not gonna spend too much time on everything. So I'm gonna go from their speakers to the subwoofers to their amplifiers. And they've also got a amplifier with a built-in processor and a receiver. So we're gonna do a quick overview of each. So let's get started. Okay, so we have the Alpine status speaker range in front of me. So they do a variety of options in speakers, but generally they are all six and a half inch. So uh, starting here, you have their six and a half inch coaxial speaker. So what you have is obviously six and a half inch diameter with a built-in tweeter and all the kind of crossover and capacitor is built in. Uh, so that's basically a full range speaker. It'll be drop in and kind of do what you need to do with that. This will be for people that don't have tweeter locations, they just want a replacement speaker here, uh, or a rear location in some vehicles also. Uh, so that's that. Obviously, magnet size is not too deep, and that there is the capacitor that basically just keeps the tweeter only playing high frequencies. Uh, so that is the coaxial. Next, you have the component system. So this is the two-way component system, meaning that you have a six and a half inch woofer, so this plays your mid to low frequencies. And you have the tweeter. Uh, so there are two variations of these speakers in the two-way. You have the full-size tweeter, which is rather large. You do have quite a large back on this. So this is gonna be more suited to people that are gonna be building these into pods uh, or custom tweeter pods and stuff like that. Uh, and you're gonna have these on full show. These will be really nice and very, very high performing. Or you have the option to have the two-way with a shallow tweeter. So the shallow tweeter is basically, I would say, half the depth. Uh, so this is gonna be more suited to people that are trying to fit them behind original grills. Um, although these are still quite large, uh, some vehicles may not take this full-size uh, tweeter di diameter, uh, but still you may get them in some vehicles. And lastly, with the two-way components, you have their passive crossover. This will basically filter all of your frequencies uh, so you have your input coming in and then that will send an output to your mid and to your tweeter so that the mid gets mid-range frequencies and the tweeter gets tweeter frequencies. Without this, these speakers wouldn't last very, very long. Um, and these are very beautifully designed, as you can probably see. They do have the plastic covering on them, but there's nice, nice tinted plastic cover on the top and you can see all the internals as well, which is really, really nice. So if you do, did want to put these on display, and definitely be a nice addition to the setup you've got. Okay, and next you have the three-way component. So that consists of, again, a six and a half inch woofer, a three, three inch or three and a half inch mid. So that would be doing your more your vocals and mid tones. And again, the tweeter. So again, like the two-way, you have the option to have the shallow tweeter or the full-size tweeter. Again, depending on what setup you're doing, uh, you can choose either or. And then because you're using a few more speakers per channel, uh, you have a larger three-way passive crossover. Um, obviously larger because it's doing more work, it's filtering to more speakers, so you can use this. Now obviously you can run these active, meaning that if you're running these independently on a channel per speaker on an amplifier and you can do all the tuning from there, uh, but you can also run the crossover. So now onto the specs. Now I'm not gonna to spend too much time going through this. If you would like a more in-depth video in the future, we will bring it out. Uh, but just because I've got a lot to get through today, I'm gonna to quickly reel it off. But this is the six and a half inch coaxial. 
This is the HDZ 65. Now, you're looking at 100 watts RMS power, 300 watts peak. These are 88 decibel sensitivity. These will play from 55 hertz all the way to 40 kilohertz. Uh, the six and a half inch speakers and the tweeters, they are pretty much all the same specs. So, in terms of power, you are looking at 100 watts RMS and 300 watts peak throughout the board. So that's for the coaxial, the components, and the three-way components, whether they're the shallow or the full size. Um, now, they do use a carbon fiber cone, as you can probably see here. Really nice design and they use what's called a double gathered edge. So it's almost like a W cone, but slightly different. Gives you a lot of excursion, but without the actual speaker coming out too far. So it's reducing distortion. It's quite a nice design, actually. I think it looks like a cupcake case. You can probably see it, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, really nice design. So that's the same throughout all of these. Now these are all high-res certified speakers, so you can run them off of a high-res amplifier, which we'll go through in a second. You're gonna get the absolute best quality. Now all of these have a aluminium die-cast basket, and they all have a neodymium magnet. So they're nice and shallow, but with lots and lots of power. So now we're looking at Alpine's HDZ 110 11 inch subwoofer. So 11 inch subwoofer, bit of a weird size I know. This is the only sub they have available in this range and I'll be honest, it's a bit of a bruiser. It is very, very heavy, I'll be honest. Massive ferrite magnet on the back and this is capable of 400 watts RMS and 1200 watts peak. So this is very, very powerful but good, good quality. This is still high res certified. It's still gonna be compatible with any of the speakers you could choose from the status range. This still has the backed carbon fiber cone, same as you'll see in the speakers. Has the same double gathered edge. It looks like the cupcake case I was talking about. And again, like I say, the ferrite magnet, nice and big, big heavy magnet on the back, so you know you can rely on that. Has the same aluminum die cast basket to save weight where it can, but it's still very, very heavy. And this has a sensitivity rating of 84 decibels. Okay, the heavens have just opened. Sorry if you can hear that, but we're gonna go through these specs. So this has the pretty much the exact same materials used as you would find in the speakers. So it has the carbon backed cone, the double gathered edge, the aluminum die cast basket, but this one has a ferrite magnet. So nice, powerful, big magnet on the back. It's making this nice and heavy. Um, so it's good, good power. You're definitely gonna feel that kick in the back with this sub, but it's gonna be nice and smooth as well. It's gonna be good, good quality. So this is only available in a dual two ohm setup. So you'll be able to wire this to either four ohm or you can wire it to one ohm, depending on what amplifier you're thinking of using. Now there is a mono amplifier that is designed to run this particular subwoofer, which we'll have a look at in a second. Now, lastly on the specs, this is 84 decibel sensitivity and this will play from 25 hertz to 300 hertz. So 25 hertz, really, really low frequency, especially out of 11 inch, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, most 10 inch subwoofers can't usually drop that low, so it's pretty good. And obviously all the way up to 350 is, is a really nice range. So that's really, really good. Okay, so now we're looking at the Alpine Status Class D range of amplifiers. So we have, starting on my right, their five channel, their four channel, and their monoblock. Now, first thing I'm gonna say is they're all the same size, which is wicked to see. I'm really happy about that because when you have a customer that wants a full system in their vehicle, but they need multiple amplifiers, most of the time you'll find that the four channel is a little bit bigger than the one channel for the subwoofer. And then that way, when you're doing a, a boot build or any kind of install, you're trying to make it look nice, they're a different size and it's not, it doesn't always look very good. So it's really nice to see even the five channel is the same size as the one channel. So yeah, really, really good. They're all really, really nice quality. I love the look of these. You've got really nice display light on the top. I'm sure you can see that. So you've got obviously really nice display light on the top there. You've got the Alpine logo. You've got this nice brushed uh, aluminium cover on the top and then you've got the outer casing and you've got all the controls and inputs and outputs along here. So really, really good quality. Okay, so as mentioned, all of these are Class D amplifiers, meaning they're digital. So they're not huge amplifiers creating a little bit of power. They're nice compact amplifiers creating a lot of power. 
These all have copper plated chassis as well, which is something you don't really see that much anymore. Uh, back in the day, you used to have them with a lot of older head units and stuff. So essentially, from what I understand, it is from basically when a raw analog signal is compressed into digital signal and then goes into the amplifier. What these amplifiers will do is basically recorrect that to be better or the same as the analog signal and then send it out. So it basically checks it and checks it again to make sure that the waveform is as good quality as it possibly can be, essentially. These amplifiers also use some tech from the F1 status range without making it extremely expensive like the F1 status range. So that's really handy to see. And also these will play files up to 24 bit. So that's the absolute maximum they can play. They can dial downscale from there as well. Now to quickly run through the specs, the five channel here will run 75 watts by four channels and 300 watts by one at four ohm. At 2 ohm, this will play 100 by 4 and 500 by 1. Now the 4 channel is 100 by 4 at 4 ohm and 150 by 4 at 2 ohm. And the mono block, the one you're going to use for your subwoofer, is 500 at 4 ohm and 800 at 2 ohm. Now we're going to do a brief overview of Alpine Status DSP amplifier and media receiver. Okay, first of all, talking about the DSP amplifier. What is that? So if you've heard of a DSP, digital sound processor. What it basically does is allows you to fine tune your audio system, basically change a lot of parameters, stuff like EQ, time alignment, crossovers, all that kind of stuff, you can play around with it. So this is gonna be suited to someone that loves to play around with the audio, change stuff. So if you have a factory head unit you can't change, this will take a high level signal input, which allows you to fine tune the factory system, if you know what I mean. So this basically is a 14 channel DSP with a built-in 12 channel amplifier. That essentially means that this has 12 channels of output, so you can control 12 speakers. So basically if you have three-way components in the front, and three-way components in the rear, for instance, you can control that fully active just through this. So you have 12 channels of amplification. Uh, the reason why you have 14 channels of processor is because you have an output on this. So you could run this with their mono amplifier, for instance. You could then tune the mono amplifier without actually having to buy another one of these to make it work, if you know what I mean. So you can run the inputs from all of your system and then you can run an output to your subwoofer. Now moving on to the media receiver. This is pretty cool I think. So basically what you have is a kind of controller as such. So it's like a three quarters of a single in head unit I would say, uh, but with nothing on the back, just the wire. So this is your controller, you have all your adjustments here and you have a little LCD screen. This is the brain of the operation. So you could fit this somewhere else. You can custom mount this. You do get a flat mount with it as well. Uh, and then that can be plugged in and you can hide this brain away. The reason for this is so that you can control something like this or you can control your amplifiers. Uh, this has built in Bluetooth, so you can stream your music from there. It is LDAC compatible as well, which means you can stream high quality, high res audio Bluetooth from your phone. This also has three USB connections on it. So you have one on the face of the brain and two on the back of the brain as well. So if you want to plug in a USB stick which has your high res files on there, you can do it from the front and you can run extensions from the back if you need to as well. Uh, but this is a singled in chassis brain unit so you could even fit this into a, your regular singled in slot uh, and then have this elsewhere. Okay, so to quickly run through the specs of each product, um, the receiver has the ability to run high res audio with 24 bit compatibility with downscaling. This also has a four by 50 watts built-in amplifier. Uh, so if you didn't want to amplify anything, you just wanted to run this on your factory speakers, for instance, you can do that. And this has also a six channel 31 band parametric EQ built in. So you can do a lot of adjustments just through this package here. Now moving over to the processor amplifier. As I mentioned, this is a 14 amp DSP digital sound processor with a built-in 12 channel amplifier. 
That 12 channel amplifier gives you eight channels at 50 watts RMS and four channels at 80 watts RMS. As I mentioned, you have the ability to do digital time alignment with this unit. And this also comes with an external Bluetooth dongle, which allows you to pair your phone directly to that. And lastly, this has the option to add their Rux C180 controller. So similar to this controller here, you have a direct controller to the amplifier to change sources and certain parts on that unit. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. That was the Alpine status range. And as the title to this video says, we've just gone through about 10,000 pounds worth of audio equipment. I know, it's a lot of money. Now, don't be scared off. You don't have to spend that much money on the audio system. That's for everything, including all the different speaker styles and shallow and slim and all that stuff. So you don't need to spend that much money, but obviously the price will reflect on the quality of the product always. So you know Alpine is a fantastic audio brand that have been for a number of years. They've been going for longer than I've been alive and I can tell you that. But yeah, fantastic quality. This is some of their absolute best stuff uh, and I can definitely vouch for that. So also to mention, we are the only UK stockist of the Alpine status range. So that means we are the only people that physically have it in hand like this, other than Alpine themselves. So if you do need it, we do have it in stock. So just give us a shout. It is available on our website also, cardiosecurity.com. All the prices are up to date on our website also, and we'll put a parts list, what we've shown you today with all part numbers in the description. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Quite an informative and very, very lengthy video today, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.